In this video, I want to introduce you to the method of differences using this example here. So find the value of the constant a for which 2r plus 1 squared take away 2r minus 1 squared is equivalent to a times r. So this is the first bit we're going to do, and then we're going to use method of differences in the next part. Okay, so we're going to start off with this. So if we have a look at the left hand side, we have this 2r plus 1 squared take away 2r plus, oh sorry, 2r minus 1 squared. And we want to expand those brackets out and hopefully we get into the, into the form of something times r. And then I'm going to be able to identify a. So expanding the first brackets, we're going to get 4r squared plus 2r plus 2r, so plus 4r plus 1. And then from expanding the second set of brackets, we're going to get 4r squared take away 4r plus 1. So we've got 4r squared take away 4r squared. 4r take away minus 4r is 8r. I'll pop it there. And 1 take away 1 is 0. And so that means, so therefore, a is equal to 8. That's what we want to define. So use this result and the method of differences to prove that the sum from r is 1 to n of r is 1 half n, n plus 1. So we've, we've seen this before already. Okay. So effectively, what we've got is we can now say that 8r is equivalent to this. Okay. So we can look at the sum from r is 1 to n of 8r, and we know that this is going to be the sum from r is 1 to n of 2r plus 1 squared take away 2r minus 1 squared. Okay, so this is what we've been able to show from that first part, that 8r is equivalent to this. So if 8r, so the sum from what r to 1 uh, from r is 1 to n of 8r is equivalent to this, then I can then say that the sum from r is 1 to n of r is going to be 1 eighth the sum from r is 1 to n of this. Okay, so my job is to show that this is equivalent to 1 half n times n plus 1. Okay? That's what this uh, situation is boiled down to. So, let's leave the 1 8th where it is. Okay, we're going to open up a bracket, and we're going to start substituting these r values in. Okay? So imagine that you're going to start substituting them in and writing down the terms as they go. Okay? So, what are we starting off with? So we substitute in r is 1 first. So, the first term that we're going to get is 2 times 1 plus 1. Okay, so 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3. So we're going to get 3 squared first. And then we're going to substitute r as 1 into this. So take away, and we've got 2 times 1, take away 1, which is 1, so 1 squared. Like so. Okay, so that is the first term when I substitute r as 1 into this expression. Right, now I'm going to substitute in r is 2. So plus. So substituting in 2, we're going to get 5 squared. Take away 3 squared. Now already what we have is we've got a 3 squared take away 3 squared. So we know those two terms are going to cancel. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's do one more term. Okay, substitute in r is 3 now. We're going to get 2 lots of 3 plus 1, so 7 squared. Take away uh, 2 lots of 3, take away 1 is 5, so 5 squared. So now we've got a 5 squared, take away 5 squared, so those terms are going to cancel. Okay, so we know the 3 squareds are going to cancel, the 5 squareds are going to cancel. So the idea then is that if I go into the next term, the 7 squareds are going to cancel as well. Okay, so we keep going, right? But I'm not going to write down any more terms uh, at the start of the sequence. Now I want to go to the end of the sequence 
to then see what it looks like right at the end. Okay, so I'm going to put in the last three terms. So the last three terms would be, so I would substitute in uh, n take away 3. So, uh, sorry, n take away 2. Sorry. So we've got n take away 2, then n take away 1, then n. Okay, they'll be the last three terms I substitute in. So n take away 2 first. So we're going to have two lots of n take away 2. So let's... Um, Shall we simplify that? So two lots of uh, n take away 2 uh, plus 1. So we're going to get 2n take away 4 plus 1. So um, take away 3. So 2n take away 3 squared. Then substituting uh, the n minus 2 into that, we've got two lots of n minus 2 take away 1. So that's going to be 2n minus 4 take away 1, so minus 5. OK, so that's the, not the penultimate term, but penultimate but 1. Then we're going to substitute in n is minus 1. So next term along. So we get 2n take away 2 plus 1. So take away 1, and uh, 2n, and then 2 times minus 1, so minus 2, take away 1, so minus 3. So we're going to have 2n minus 1 squared, take away 2n minus 3 squared. So we can see that those terms are going to cancel. And the very last term, we're substituting in n, or is n. So we're going to have... Um, 2n plus 1 squared take away 2n minus 1 squared. OK? And that's all being multiplied by 1 eighth, isn't it? OK, so our job here is then to identify which bits cancel. This is the method of differences, OK? So the difference is looking at subtractions, effectively. So we spotted that the three squareds are going to cancel. We spotted also that the 5 squared is going to cancel. OK? Now, from here, we can see that the 2n minus 3's squared are going to cancel. And we've got the 2n uh, minus 1 squared cancelling with that one there. Oh, not that term. And this term would have been cancelled with something in the previous term that I haven't written in. So that will have gone as well. So what, and the 7 squared, sorry, 7 squared would go with the next term, won't it? OK, I'll get a minus 7 squared. So it's all about then, right, what am I left with? Well, I've got the 1 8 out the front. I've got this minus 1 squared. So I know there's a minus 1. And I know I've got this plus 2n plus 1 squared. OK, it's reduced down to this. So now I want to expand this out. I've got the 1 8 times minus 1 plus 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. The minus 1 and the plus 1 are going to cancel. So I've got 1 8 times 4n squared plus 4n. Now I can factor the 4 out, and that's going to mean I've got 1 8 times 4, so that's a half. So I've now got a half times n squared plus n. Now I can factor the n out to leave me with half n times n plus 1, which is what was required here. OK? So you don't always have to go into that third term. So I went to three terms here and uh, the last bit, uh, two terms there, OK, in order to kind of show you more of the cancellation, to kind of convince you that that cancellation would occur. Uh, in this example, you probably all really just needed to go to those two terms and those two terms in order to show the, cancel the cancellation, OK? 
But hopefully this kind of shows you this idea of the method of differences. You're looking for terms cancelling out and leaving you with an expression that then can be simplified to what you need to get to. Okay? Now, um, some of the examples um, in a few videos' time will involve partial fractions, which is something that the majority of students will learn in the second year of A-level maths, whereas method of differences may well be something you look at in the first year of further maths. So depending on how, in which order you learn topics, okay, um, just be wary that uh, we're going to be dipping into the second year of A-level maths in a few videos' time.